type of drinks that we would put into our body and how the harm does to us. The first solution that we did was we should feed plants different types of drinks, but plants don't really show the kind of effects a human body does, so we decided to go with mice. The three drinks that we decided to go with would be milk, water, and red bull. What we did was we separated three mice. Three mice was for the water, red bull, and milk. We put them all in each different cages and saw the comparisons for each one. What we wanted to show the effects for each type of drink was we stuck them in a maze and saw which one would finish the maze faster to see how the effects would be of the drink. The hypothesis for the experiment was that we thought the Red Bull would be the quickest one since Red Bull is known for giving out the most energy. But with our results from the experiment, well, we'll see. So, on to our final results. Overall, we ran the mice every week in the maze for a total of six weeks. And in the first trial, the mouse who was fed with the Red Bull finished minutes before the other two. So we concluded that the Red Bull was the reason why it had so much energy. The mouse who was fed water became much faster than the other two. So we concluded that the Red Bull initially makes you faster and has a lot more energy. But in the long run, it makes you slower and water is the best choice to feed your mice. Mouse number one, which was the water, we put him in the maze and she took a while at first to run through the maze and complete it. She was more distracted, she was more focused of eating the foam, climbing the foam. She wanted to get out of the maze more than completing the maze. When she was close to finishing the maze, she would walk past it and really start all over again. So she was close to completing the maze, but she didn't exactly go all the way through with the maze. And the water one, which was mouse number one, took nine minutes and one second to complete it the first time. Then mouse number two, which was the milk, he was seemed more scared and really didn't wa want to run through the maze as quickly. Um, she kept really going in the same areas all over again. And I guess she was set, smelling more of her scent than following the cheese. This one actually did not complete the maze. We gave them a 10 minute limit and she was not able to complete it. Now the third mouse, which was the Red Bull, she was really anxious, she was full of energy, and she was actually running in place before we actually put her in the maze. So she was quick to complete the maze. She was actually the fastest between all three. She completed the maze in 39 seconds on her first time of trying Red Bull. This was the quickest one out of all three of them. So before separation, we noticed that mouse one, which was water, was very, um, he loved to drink a lot of water and he would not eat as much. He was also very lazy and slept a lot. And actually he was the first one to eat out of all of them. Then there was a the second mouse, the Red Bull one. She was very jittery. She was the one that seemed more active because of the Red Bull. She actually escaped from her cage during this week. We were able to rescue her back. She, her environment, she was also the most filthiest. She had the most poop out of the rest of the cages. She kept con constantly trying to escape out from the cage. And really, I guess she wanted to be more with the other mice. She was not used to living alone just yet. The milk one. Before separation, she seemed to be more of the calm mouse, the one that was always sleeping a lot. She was hiding under the objects that we were putting in the cage for them to play with. She was also a little bigger than the rest of them. We noticed that she was eating a lot more and she was very thirsty compared to the other two in the cage. On to the errors. So we had a few minor errors, but our major error was that the initial beverage to feed one of the mice was milk, but since it wasn't refrigerated, we realized that it was going to spoil and that we couldn't use that beverage. So we switched it to Arizona, knowing that it had a good amount of sugar so that it would give the mice energy to run through the maze. On RB 
we have. By conducting this experiment, we learned that science is a broad field, not just one thing or one experiment. Everything that we are affected by and this world affected by is science. Then there was mouse number three. <laughs>